What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs and in this video we're going to be exploiting Grandpa from Hack the Box and this is an easy Windows machine and this is part of me learning uh, some skills so that I can attack the OSCP and unfortunately this machine I couldn't find a way to properly manually exploit it I ran into the same issues that I did uh, in my previous video with, with uh, the Grammar machine these machines are very unique that uh, I couldn't manually exploit them. So we'll quickly go through Metasploit and I did learn a ton while trying to make it work. So it's still a good learning experience. Without wasting time, let's go back to our Kali machine. And the first thing that I would like to start with is our Nmap scan. And I already did my ping and this is on 10.10.10.14 and we let it run. I already did it for us and as you can see over here um the, he, these are the results it says that uh we have port 80 open which is great that means we can view the web page and then um we get the target name net bios as you can see over here and we have is version 6 that's always going to be interesting so we can check that as well to make sure that uh we can enumerate fully And just like the grandma machine, this one also is a web dev uh, type. And we can see that we can, there are these options. So we can always, always test our web dev to see if we can actually uh, write and what kind of files we can write to it. But to start, let's just go ahead and um, clear the screen here. And let's use search exploit to find out if there's any vulnerabilities for IS 6.0. So we just do a search point zero. Okay, there we go. Type of there. As you can see, we automatically find a bunch of um, exploits that we can throw at this machine. And the most interesting one is this buffer overflow that we can try to find more information about. So what I just do is I just copy that and go to Google and just try to find more information about that. Because I like to read more about this uh exploits and find out what they are all about and as you can see we get a few here i like the ones from exploit dv because they're very uh they explain a lot and as you can see we can read more about this here and it says it's a buffer overflow in the storage function the web dev service and is is and as you can see here um, if you read more of this, you know that this is uh, part of the government exploit that was leaked in 2017. It's actually very interesting. But now that we know that our machine is uh, vulnerable and there is an exploit module for it, um, lo looking further, I found out that it's known as exploding can, if you do a little bit more research. And I really like uh, what this person has done here. On github and he actually has it right here hosted and usually that means that they're good because uh he says that if you run this without the alpha mix encoder there's a bug so he tells you how to generate the, the payload here so all we need to do is when we run our when we generate our, our payload we just come in here and copy this and we need to encode it using the alpha mixed uh option and that's why i like this the, the best so let's go ahead and generate our payload now to generate our shell code like i showed you earlier we just change the ip address to be ours and there we go this shouldn't take too long okay so our payload is done so we can do an ls here as you can see we, we get our shell code right here so to execute we just do a Python. I already went ahead and copied uh, this from this GitHub. So just do a Git clone for this. Um, since this is such a simple machine, let's just quickly go ahead. But just do a Git clone and put it, everything in there. So I want to say Python. And we want to include our shell code. Let's see what happens. There we go. Oh, that is happening. Let's go ahead and... Uh, catch the shell so file new tab and 
let's zoom in. And from here, MSF console. And we use uh, the multi handler like we did last time. So give it a second. Okay, made us put completed. So we just say use multi handler. Come on, let's go. And we set our payload to be uh, the Windows slash Metapreter. And we use the reverse underscore TCP. This is the one that we used before. And set payload Windows Metapreter with TCP. As you can see, our payload is set up. Then uh, we need to set our local host and okay, I thought we did that. <clears throat> set payload that. Let's do it one more time. And then, okay, post exploit. Come here. Okay, we can say uh, from here we can say get system and as you can see so this doesn't work obviously they wouldn't make it super easy right so if we do control Z we can background the session say yes and as you can see we are back to our mountain handler then uh, we want to use the local exploit suggester. That's what we used last time. This will just run and uh, suggest all the exploits for us. So let's do that. Then from here, we'll bring it back to session one. So it's session one. And we can do a run. And Metasploit will do all the work for us. While that is happening, I want to open a new listener in a new tab. So what I can do is MSF console. We'll just use a different port here to make it super easy. And once we're back here, we also want to use multi handler. So we just use multi handler. There we go. And we're setting our payload to Windows TCP again, which is um, what we did last time. As you can see, guys, it gets faster when, the more you do it. Um, so we can set uh, payload, I mean, local host here. I can set that to tunnel zero of this specific. So the, then we set our new local port. And in this case, what you're just going to do 4455. 4455 is going to do that. Then we can just, uh, let's wait to run it until this is done. Once we find something that we could. Okay, there we go. We are finding stuff. So we just completed here. Okay, so it looks like we did find a few uh, vulnerabilities, but the one that I see found to work is the last one. But before we run it, let's uh, go ahead and listen over here. can see now we are listening then um, we come back here and tell this to use this okay now that we're using that we can set our local host one more time I can say tunnel zero or I like to specify the absolute IP address. 33. Then from there, 
we want to set our local port to 44555 and then we can say run and it should run and then we're already listening here and we should see stuff happening so okay following uh okay no session was created why let's try it one more time oh you see guys this is why i have to do this it says that we cannot validate validate session i need to set session one here then run this is why practice is great oh no 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 i need no that that didn't work either <laughs> i i okay i need to do more show options to verify that uh this thing is, is working okay so set our host 10.10.10 10 .10 and dot 14 dot 33 and show options why you always have to check your work now we are in now run okay it seems to be working this time so let's go and check here this should work in a little bit here okay it looks like metapreter session one was opened as you can see here so let me do a get UID NT system authority, then I can do a shell and we're in guys. This is, this was very simple. As you can see, this is a Metasploit machine. So I'm not going to waste your time going to the users and finding the user in the flags. They're very simple. Just navigate through windows and find them. That was an easy one. Next time, guys, I promise we will be working more without Metasploit, but this machine was just too uh, complicated. Without it, it just kept uh, timing out on me and freezing, and I realized it's not worth my time. There'll be more machines that I will have more fun with and spend more time without Metasploit. But since we worked on Grandma last time, this is Grandpa. And if you like this content, remember to subscribe and like to my videos. I will be posting more. As you can see, I've been posting almost every day. Like my videos and subscribe. Hit the notification button. You'll be notified next time I post. Otherwise, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.